At low power, we can see that this is a highly, highly cellular smear. Uh, many of the cells actually appear fairly dispersed, although there is a suggestion of some tighter tissue fragments here. So we're going to move around a little bit, and again we can see this uh, fairly dispersed look with several areas that appear to be a little bit more aggregated. Many of the cells have this polygonal nuclear shape, and we appreciate that they are bigger than resting lymphocytes. There are actually not that many lymphocytes in the background. Now focusing on a group such as this, moving up and down into different planes of focus, uh, we can see that it is composed of fairly large cells and when you compare them to lymphocytes, they are probably around three to five times the size of lymphocytes. And moving around, for example, in this area, many of the nuclei appear naked. They are quite ovoid and irregular and we can appreciate very prominent nucleoli. There are not that many lymphoglandular bodies in the background, but these malignant cells are closely associated with lymphocytes. This is a smear taken from a different pass and uh, we can see that there appears to be a more cohesive pattern in this particular smear. We have uh, what appears to be syncytial sheets of malignant cells admixed with lymphocytes in the background and many of the nuclei you can appreciate are quite ovoid with prominent nucleoli. Occasional lymphoglandular bodies are identified as you can see, but they are not a lot. This is a medium power view of the alcohol fixed papanicolau stained smear and we can see that there are many lesional cells here admixed with lymphocytes in the background. Uh, when we compare them, uh, we can see the lesional cells are larger than lymphocytes, definitely. Here they seem to have fairly rounded nuclei and certainly they have very prominent nucleoli. Uh, this is a good field where we can compare them with the size of a resting lymphocyte and the nuclei are about perhaps three to four times, maybe even five times the size of a resting lymphocyte. The cytoplasm is very indistinct here. This is taken from a different pass and here we can appreciate that there is more uh, cohesion and what we are seeing are syncytial sheets of these malignant cells. As we move along, we can see that uh, there are some very well-formed tissue fragments. Now these are syncytial. Um, when we focus up and down, we are actually able to see that there's quite a bit of crowding and overlapping of the nuclei. And uh, there's no really distinct cytoplasmic outlines where we can see one cell, where one cell stops and the other cell starts. So this is what syncytial means. Uh, it is quite a disorganized group. We are not able to appreciate any real SNR formations in this particular field. And at a higher power view, again, we can appreciate this overlapping and crowding and there are even occasional mitotic figures. We are also able to see how large the nuclei are and vesicular or open the chromatin is and the very prominent nucleoli. So in summary, what we are seeing are syncytial sheets or tissue fragments of malignant cells with round to ovoid irregular nuclei, open chromatin prominent nucleoli, occasional mitotic figures, and some associated lymphocytes. This is consistent with metastatic poorly differentiated carcinoma. There's no gland formation, no keratinization to suggest definite glandular or squamous differentiation. So in the Southeast Asian population uh, with an appearance like this in a cervical lymph node, one must always think of the possibility of metastatic undifferentiated nasopharyngeal carcinoma.